Time zones are a great invention. They help the whole world stay in sync, making travel and communication way easier. Imagine if every country just used its own random time. It would be chaos. But what started as a simple system quickly became a confusing mess. So let's break it all down in this video. A long time ago, people just followed the sun to know when to wake up, work, eat and sleep. Then we invented clocks, and every city had its own local time. It worked great until people started traveling long distances. Then came trains and ships in the 19th century. Suddenly, schedules were a nightmare. If every city had a different time, how do you plan arrivals and departures? So scientists came up with a genius idea. Divide the Earth into time zones. The Earth spins around once every 24 hours. Since it's 360 degrees, if you divide that by 24, you get 15 degrees per hour. Boom! Every 15 degree slice of Earth become a time zone. Imagine peeling a giant orange with 24 slices. Yes, that's a big orange. Each slice is a time zone, meaning everyone in that slice follows the same time. Now, if you travel east, you move forward in time, travel west, and you go backward. This is why jet lag is a thing. When it's 10 a.m. in London, it's 5 a.m. in New York, and already 7 p.m. in Tokyo. And they needed a starting point. They picked the Greenwich Meridian because back in the day, British sailors used it for navigation. Plus, Britain was a pretty big deal at that time. And they also needed a name. The French wanted TUC for Time Universal Coordinated. And English wanted CUT for Coordinated Universal Time. Because yeah, French and English just flipped their world order. So they found a compromise. UTC. Now every time zone is based in UTC, like UTC plus 1, 1 hour ahead, and UTC minus 1, 1 hour behind. All the way from UTC minus 12 to UTC plus 12. It makes 24 hours. Sounds logical, right? Well, nope. We are humans, so we love to complicate things. And not a single time zone is perfectly 50 degree linear. Why? Because governments started tweaking time zones for all sorts of reasons. Like national unity, because some countries just want one single time zone. Politics, some changes were made just to match neighboring countries. And people's habits, because nobody likes waking up in the dark, right? And this is where things get crazy. France time zone, for example, makes no sense. France on the Greenwich Meridian, which is UTC0. So it should be in UTC0 like the UK, right? Well, no. It's actually in UTC plus one. Why? During World War II, Germany forced occupied France to switch to UTC plus one because it would be easier for Germany. And after the war, France just never switched back. Spain and Poland too at the same time, but shouldn't. Yet, both use UTC plus one. Why? To make things easier for European countries. They basically just group them together under the same time zones. This is what Europe should look like, but it doesn't. Oh, and there is summertime, because during summer some countries like to change time, and others don't. Spain and France, for example, use UTC plus two during summer instead of UTC zero. Where Japan, for instance, doesn't change its time at all, only using UTC plus nine. Oh, I know, it's not just Europe. South America, it's basically the same. Most countries are using UTC-3 instead of UTC-4 and 5. And Alaska, too, is using UTC-9 instead of UTC-10 and 11. Okay, now China goes a step further. China is huge and should have multiple time zones. But to keep things simple, the whole country follows Beijing time. That means in the far west, the sun rises and sets way later than in the east. Imagine waking up for school and it's still pitch black, while people on the other side of the country already have bright daylight. That's not really fair. Then we have time rebels. Most time zones shift by whole hours. But India decided, nah, let's do 30 minutes instead. So instead of using UTC plus 5, they're using UTC plus 5.30. And Nepal went even further, using UTC plus 5.45. They just wanted to match their local time with the geography. Now some other country follow the same 30 minute difference too. <laughs> Why not? And finally we have Kiribati, a tiny Pacific island nation that was split into two different days because of the international dateline. One part was using UTC minus 12 and the other UTC plus 12. The solution? They just moved the dateline so all the island could be on the same day. Imagine traveling one hour and suddenly it's yesterday. That was confusing, right? Now, next time you travel or look at the wall clock, you'll know why time zones are such a wild ride. It was Ben, see you soon, bye!